All right, what's going on, guys? You know, Happy New Year. I am back for my trip, and well, I have been looking for the past couple days for any topic to talk about at this point, and honestly, man, it is dry as fuck out here, dude. Like, it is like the Sahara Desert, man. Like, I cannot find anything to make a video on, and well, I figured we would revisit an old topic because, you know what? An Instagram post doesn't make me any ad revenue, so you know what? I figured we would once again revisit the entire Fortnite boomer situation, and well, you know, our buddy here who I made a video on basically just roasting his top 10 video responded to my video in the comment section and well that comment lasted for about 20 minutes until he deleted it because he was getting flamed in the comment section imagine that but anyway i mean our buddy here obviously big fan of the channel you know he took the time to not only find the video but then of course leave a comment and i'm sure before leaving he left a like because i mean how could you walk away from that video without leaving a like on it which you should totally do on this video but anyway guys our good friend chaos or how he used to be known chaos x silencer back when he used to do like call of duty clickbait videos or whatever like superman call of duty black ops 2 class setup or bullshit like that <laughs> Basically the equivalent of an Alley A video you'd see for Fortnite these days. everyone, my name's Ali A. But anyway, guys, basically, our good friend here decided to visit my video and leave a comment on the video because he was just gonna prove to everyone how untriggered he was about the fact that I made a video criticizing his cringy clickbait top 10 video, which was obviously made just to get a bunch of views from a bunch of three-year-olds who play Fortnite. But you know what? He wanted to prove to everyone just how untriggered he was, so he thought the best way to do so was to leave a comment on my video. Now, like I said, he deleted this comment pretty quickly like when people actually realized that this was the guy from the video and they were like holy shit dude I'm gonna roast his ass but yeah this comment did not last long and you know pinning the comment to the video probably really didn't help but you know what we're here to get all sides of the argument out there you know I wanted to give him a platform to express himself and to defend his actions and well luckily I managed to screenshot this comment before he eventually did delete it when he started getting flamed pretty hard now I would say this comment is on the border of quality ass content okay you know times are tough on YouTube right now it is dry as fuck there's no real drama going around so you know I gotta make do with what I have here you know I gotta put out some content but at the same time it's not gonna be up to the same quality standard that you guys are used to so I apologize I will not be able to bring you guys a 12 minute long video today with mineral ads this is probably gonna be a short video in all honesty dude I'm so sorry but anyway without further ado guys let's go ahead and check out this pure quality comment that was left on my YouTube video basically just destroying me dude like honestly I don't know if I have a future on YouTube at this point <laughs> LOL. A video that's over a year old meant to get a reaction, and it did from a leafy wannabe. And I mean, you just really have to love the fact that he put a fucking lettuce in the middle of the sentence after leafy, and then the two boomer laughing faces at the end. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's fitting the stereotype perfectly. But I mean, this is not the first time that someone has called me out for this, dude. I mean, holy shit. I mean, I barely survived the last time when a furry on YouTube called me the Diet Coke leafy, but I mean, this time, man, this guy has over a million subs, dude. I'm fucked at this point. But Jesus Christ, dude, I love how he puts the fucking lettuce after Leafy, like, really, dude? I mean, this comment right here looks exactly like what you would expect from, like, one of those Facebook moms that tries to act, like, really cool and trendy or whatever, and they put, like, the emojis in the middle of their sentences to, like, put a visual representation to what they're talking about, just to show off, like, oh my god, dude, I know how to use my phone, I know how to post an emoji, and this guy is doing the exact same thing, like, Jesus Christ. And then the boomer laughing faces, dude, like, honestly, why did you have to fit the stereotype, like, Literally, I was just calling you a boomer as a meme, but I might have been right. So, you know, being civil, well, I probably shouldn't say civil, because in all honesty, I was shook, man. I didn't even know what to do or say at this point. Like, a 1 million plus sub channel was coming after me, dude. I was getting roasted in my own comment section, because this guy apparently, you know, apparently this video was over a year old, even though it just popped up in my recommendations. I didn't even check the date. I just downloaded it, and then decided, you know what, I'll make a response video to this, because why not, man? That is my point here on YouTube, is to bring content to you guys. I didn't really have anything personally against this guy, but apparently, you know, because the video was a year 
year old that makes everything he said completely irrelevant and he definitely didn't mean it whatsoever. And then on top of that, he claims that he did this entire thing for a reaction. Well, if that was the case, why is he so salty? Why is he actually triggered in my comment section? If anything, he should be thanking me for the attention I directed at his video because that was his entire point was to get a reaction, but apparently not. You know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So you know what? I already decided to respond to his comment and I simply pointed out, I didn't realize stupidity had an expiration date. Keep it up with that. It's just a prank, bro. Excuse. You definitely convinced me and well, I don't think I could have said it better myself. You know, this guy was obviously tilted. He was not doing it 100% for a reaction. This guy wants to be the new watch mojo or some shit. Like the amount of top 10 videos this guy pumps out is actually pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, they're all extremely clickbaity. But you know what? If he was truly doing this for a reaction, he would be thanking me for the clout. The only thing he'd have to comment in the comment section is, hey, thanks for the attention on my video, you fucking dumbass or something like that. Fucking brat. Like, that probably would have been a better roast than this shit. Like, instead, he tried to get big on me and use the fucking boomer emoji stereotype to do so. And, well, it just really didn't play well for him, dude. He tried to come up with all these excuses. But, like, oh, yeah, it's over a year old. You know, I only did this for a reaction. But at the same time, I'm actually triggered enough to make sure everybody knows this in your comment section. Because it's definitely worth my time to point that out. Because, you know what? It really wasn't for that reaction. It was because Fortnite was more popular at the time. And you were trying to get that attention from a bunch of little kids to revive what is basically a dead channel. But you know what? We're not here to take shots, okay? We are just here to recap a nice conversation between two people on YouTube. But you know what, man? It gets even better because he decided to actually threaten me. I mean, this is kind of like one of those really passive-aggressive threats or whatever. Like, this guy is actually trying to claim, like, he's gonna flag my channel or some shit. But he does it in, like, this really, like, low-key way. Like, you gotta really interpret what he's saying. Like, oh, yeah, dude, I hope your channel doesn't get taken down or some shit. Like, wink, wink. I'm not gonna be the one to flag it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this report reply he left to my reply on his wonderful comment. So basically what happened here is this guy literally tried to threaten me, dude. Like, it's pretty clear to see what exactly was going on here. Like, you can tell what this guy meant when he said what he said. Like, he was actually trying to, like, imply, like, oh, dude, I hope your channel doesn't get taken down with these new harassment policies. So let's go ahead and read this response real quick. So he replied to my reply to his comment saying, will do, and you keep on with the 100 stellar content with the new YouTube harassment policies. Wink. Like, this shit is so passive aggressive. You can tell this guy is fucking salty, dude. Like, he's using sarcasm. He's going, yeah, this stellar content. Good luck with the new YouTube harassment policy, winky face. Like, this guy is legit acting like, oh, yeah, good luck with that policy. It'd be a shame if I just happened to report you or some shit, which I guarantee you he did. Like, people false flag my videos all the time. Like, report them for harassment, bullying, and everything like that. And luckily, YouTube has been pretty cool about it and not really taking action against me. But you could just tell this guy is actually triggered. Like, he actually wants this video taken down. Like, it's actually really funny. Like, if this was all for a reaction or whatever, this guy would have fucking dropped it. He probably wouldn't have even commented in the first place because if he wanted just attention, that's exactly what I gave him. So he should actually be thanking me. But instead, he's making, like, these really low-key threats against me. And it's really obvious what he was trying to do. And that's what people were roasting him about in the comment section until he eventually deleted his actual comment on my video. And sadly, I didn't get a chance to get those replies because, you know, he deleted it pretty quickly after the fact when I pinned the comment to the video because you know I wanted everybody to have a chance to see this true big brained logic at work here because it's not every day that you know a 1 million plus channel graces me with their presence in my comment section so you know what I had to roll out the red carpet I had to give him the VIP treatment and well I hope it worked out well for him but anyway guys I think that's gonna do it for this video today I really don't know how I drew this fucking thing out so long like these are three very short comments and I honestly have no fucking clue how I managed to talk about it for so long but you know here I am man you know I'm not gonna lie like once I got back from my vacation I've had like zero motivation to make YouTube videos like I don't know whenever I take a break from YouTube I just completely get out of the mindset so you know I'm gonna ease my way back into this hopefully some more topics pop up sooner rather than later and I can keep making some content because this next upcoming semester I'm basically not gonna have much to do with school so I have one class I have to take and then three electives I'm taking pass fail that I have to get like a 
DN. So, you know, I have a lot of time hopefully coming out to make YouTube videos. So I'm going to try to get back to uploading daily if possible because that would be really fucking awesome. And when I was doing that for a little while, about a month ago, like I actually felt really good. Like I felt like I was actually accomplishing something and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So yeah, I'm back. I will be making regular videos from now on, hopefully, as long as there's topics to talk about at this point. But anyway, guys, I do want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video as always. And for all the recent support as well, happy new year again. I hope you guys are all having a great start to 2020 and I will catch you guys next time.